Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber, where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. A new policy is forcing K-12 public schools in Massachusetts to allow transgender boys and girls to use the opposite sex's locker rooms, bathrooms, and changing facilities without a doctor's note or parental permission needed to switch sexes, just the student's word. Many elementary schools in smaller towns are K-8, through meaning boys as old as 14 could share toilet facilities with girls as young as 5. At a meeting convened by Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Bertone, a document has been issued countermanding a letter from Archbishop Mueller, head of the Congregation of the Doctrine of Faith. Mueller's original letter, which Bertone's document renders null and void, challenged the Archbishop of Peru's directive that the former Pontifical Catholic University of Peru may no longer call itself Catholic, owing to a refusal to conform to the Church's standards for higher education. With this decision from Bertone, the Archbishop of Lima's original directive stands and the university is now called the University of Peru and the entirety of the theology faculty is forbidden to teach. In a recent op-ed for the New York Times, the co-president of the Freedom From Religion Foundation called for an end to the federal observance of Christmas, saying that it violates the First Amendment. The atheist group leaders suggested two options to replace it, renaming the federal holiday Family Day or another title without Jesus' name in it, or federal acceptance of December 21st as the winter solstice in place of December 25th. Turkey is seeking to take back children who were adopted by gay couples and Christians. Government officials say that they were not told the Turkish children were being adopted by Christians and gay couples, saying the lifestyles don't coincide with the country's Islamic values. A Muslim man has been arrested in New Jersey accused of murdering two Christians. Two men, recent immigrants from Egypt, were mutilated by being beheaded and having their hands cut off. Police in New Jersey have not ascribed a motive to the killings. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about how some Filipinos are abandoning the faith for safe, satisfying sex. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you.